To get faster around the Singapore Grand Prix circuit, you need to watch this top 1% hot lap. Let's go on board with Zingy to see how it's done. Breaking a straight line at 65 meters or just after the black box on the right, turn in before the entry curve begins, into fourth gear and release the brakes just before you get to the inside curve. On the pound, onto the inside curve, then exit and approach turn two. Getting up to full throttle momentarily, then lift off slightly whilst riding the curve to avoid instability. And if you're brave enough, hook the right wheels over the sausage curve for extra rotation, going up to track limits if you can. On the brakes just before the curb end, second or third gear, then off the brakes by the apex, throttle out and open up the steering all the way to the exit curb and bring the car immediately to the left of the circuit once the traction is down. Use all of the track up to the wall, then brake as you reach the entry curb briefly up to 100% force and turn in after you clear the curb. Fourth gear and off the brakes before the apex, brush the inside curb lightly and focus on the throttle, slowly letting the steering release in order to get as close to the wall as possible on exit. DRS open and minimize track distance as you go flat through turn six and just to let you know we will be using 53 percent brake bars for most of this lap. Into turn seven at high speed, braking at 90 meters, riding the entry curb, but turn in as you reach the center of it whilst coming off the brakes. Third and fourth gear, fully off the brakes at the apex and onto the power, aiming to ride the exit curb. Then move to the left and brake for turn eight at around 55 to 60 meters. Turn in and release the brakes almost immediately into second or third gear, depending on preference, off the brakes at the apex and on the power. Up to fourth gear, use everything to the white line on entry for turn nine, brake just after the 50 meter board on the right or just before the advertising board disappears up above you. Only using about 75% forces, you need to ensure that you have enough rotation to turn in at the same time. Fourth gear still and fully off the brakes before the inside curb and on the power as you reach it. You can brush this lightly if you like, but no more, otherwise you will lose the traction needed for the best exit. Full power as you get as close to the wall as you can, almost touching the wall on the right, then a moment to breathe before the hardest part of the circuit. Up to seventh gear, then on the brakes of the 50 meter board, turning in and bleeding off as the second part of the wall sticks out. Using engine braking as you shift down to four. Fully off the brakes by the inside and cut it hard being careful of the wall. Only on the throttle after leaving the curb then follow the track to the left and aim to open up turn 11. Holding between 80 and 90 percent throttle then brake in 75 force either as soon as the wall straightens up on the left or right before the arrow that is shown on the track surface. Down to third gear and turn in as the wall on the left drops away looking to get as close as you can to the inside curb without touching it if possible. Yet again for stability. Slowly apply the throttle one up to fourth before the inside curb then full B after you pass it and all the way up to the wall on exit. Take this moment to increase the brake bias to 54% to ensure that you can maximize your braking efficiency at turn 13. Position the car central and swing right up to the wall and brake in a straight line. Turn in and come off the brakes almost instantly, down to second or third and fully released by the apex. Close for a split second to allow the car to rotate then on the power and open the steering. In third gear by now and only full throttle once straight. DRS available, back down to 53% brake bias, stay to the right to minimize track distance, then naturally drift left to open up turn 14. Break at 80 meters, turn in once you reach the entry curb and you guessed it, start to release the brakes. Second or third gear and release at the apex, getting as close as you can without touching it. Allow the car to rotate, then on the gas using all of the track available to your advantage, up to the white line of course. Onto the brand new straight now, just like you're a brand new subscriber of the LSI Racing channel and now we've got the final few corners to go. Break anywhere between 75 and 60 meters, second or third gear and turn in just before the wall ends on your left. Reaching the apex with the brake released and you can touch this curb if you wish to or not. Power out, turn to the left just before the nose of the car is in line with the inside curb. Fourth gear and ride this inside curb if you can for rotation and full power as you leave it. Use all of the track available as you exit then a moment to relax and finally just before you get to the entry curb of turn 18 either stay in sixth gear and lift off the throttle momentarily then on the power again before the apex or quickly shift down to fifth gear with the dabber brakes and the slight lift before back up to sixth gear and full power before the apex. Let the car wash wide keeping within track limits. DRS and across the line to set a 1 minute 27.755 and that's how you get into the top 1% of drivers in the world. The setup for this video is on screen now and if you want to tailor this for the race situation, decrease the rear downforce only to try and make overtaking easier and help with rotation. Don't change the differential to also make rotating the car easier. Leave the suspension geometry as it is to improve lap time. Soften the suspension slightly for consistency and increase only the rear ride height slightly for stability. Leave the brake pressure as it is but increase the brake bias by a click or two to help with stability and tyre wear. With the tyres, decrease the pressure slightly and practice to make sure that you find your perfect window for the tyre temperatures. Make sure you subscribe for our next hot lap, like the video if you've improved, comment below how much you've improved by. Thank you very much to Zingy for completing this hot lap for us. Good luck and let's race.